standing in front of a beautiful specimen of Podocarpus macrophyllus. This is an Asian species, a tropical conifer that um, has broad leaves. It doesn't immediately look a lot like the conifers we're used to from the northern, northern areas because of its broad leaves. And it's frequently used as a hedge plant in South Florida, where it's uh, pruned into a, usually square shapes. But if allowed to grow to its potential, it can become a beautiful big uh, specimen tree like this one with beautiful uh, shedding bark on its trunk. And, um, and another un unusual thing about Podocarpus, uh, and, it, and it's a member of a, of a big important tropical conifer family, Podocarpaceae, is that they have very unusual cones. Uh, they, in fact, their cones look not a lot like cones at all. They look uh, often like fruiting structures in flowering trees. And in fact, on this, uh, this species and its related species, you can actually eat part of the cone, which looks like a berry, and it attracts birds to disperse it, uh, much like in uh, the flowering plants. But even, and so it functions like a fruit, but it actually is a, is a modified cone scale. And in fact, another related species um, to this, Podocarpus elatus, is actually grown in orchards in Australia for its, uh, its fruit, which isn't truly a fruit. And uh, so it's got a lot of interesting uses. And in fact, not only is it useful for human food, but back during the age of dinosaurs, it seems that they probably ate uh, the foliage of plants like this, uh, tropical conifers like Podocarpus. There was some research done on their digestibility, and it seemed like the leaves on this are much, have much more nutrition in them for a dinosaur than the cycads, which also lived during that time but have much tougher uh, leaves with uh, much less usable nutrition in them. So they were important uh, for food for not only mammals in the, in the recent time, but for dinosaurs uh, a couple hundred million years ago.